going rogue. We're getting crazy. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and, uh, well, uh, for one, I just got back from the Apple iPod launch event and had a bunch of packages at home, which is always exciting, but, you know, all of a sudden it's like, oh, more stuff to do. Some a little punchy. But number two is I, the more I've been covering the cell phone business, the more I like to make fun of these, these crazy names they come up with for the phones. But I guess Rogue is, you know, you're going to remember it more than, uh, what's it called? S-C-H. I don't even know what it is. Where is it? It's the S-C-H U-960. See, nobody's going to remember S-C-H U-960. They're going to remember Rogue. It's the Samsung Rogue from Verizon just launched. $99.99 on contract after rebate. Uh, in charcoal gray and flamingo red. We'll see which one they gave us. This is the new uh, top-of-the-line messaging phone, uh, that and the NV Touch. But the, the press release calls this the flagship for uh, Verizon's new data plans, which I don't even know, man. 25 megabytes for $10 a month, 75 megabytes for $20 a month, in addition to your voice plan. But then if you want Vcast, $10 a month for that, Vcast on demand. I know Vcast video on demand, $10 a month also. So I don't know. It's all crazy. you got to check with your Verizon people to make sure you know what you're going to spend before you get it. But the phone itself, $99.99 on contract after rebate. Thanks to the folks at Verizon and Samsung for sending us this loaner. And uh, here's the phone. I got the gray, not the Flamingo Red. The Flamingo Red available online only, apparently. Also in the box, you get data cable, proprietary to USB, and then... No, it wasn't an earthquake. It was a clumsy quake. I knocked the camera over. You get a data cable and then uh, the USB on the end with your modular power adapter. I like that. I wish that end was standard USB, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. The nice thing about standard USB is if you forget your data, you know, you forget to charge your phone and you're at work or school where there's a computer, you can plug it in and get a quick little charge, but oh well. You also get in the box tips and hits and short hints and shortcuts and consumer information and all that stuff. Here's the phone itself, uh, 3.1 inch AM OLED screen, so kind of like the impression on AT&T with the AM OLED technology. Um, you have got, it's WVGA widescreen, and then you've got your slide down keyboard, and you've also got HTML web browsing, you've got TouchWiz, with uh, widgets on the front. It's not a full smartphone, but it does have TouchWiz. You've got a uh, three megapixel camera with flash and video capture. You've got all your messaging, SMS, MMS, uh, email, IM, all that stuff. You've got uh, Verizon Vcast support for Vcast music with Rhapsody, Vcast video, uh, visual voicemail support. It's got some games preloaded, VZ Navigator support, uh, file viewer support, and micro SD card slot support as well. So on the front, you've got a touch screen, you've got uh, send and cancel buttons, the cancel double is your power button, you've got a single button for uh, back, I would believe, uh, you've got on the side a rocker switch, and then you've got your, I believe this is the uh, accessory port for your charger. Yes, it is. Um, data cable charger. Uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the other side, always nice to see. Uh, dedicated buttons for camera, for looks like uh, speakerphone and possibly search or zoom, and then um, voice command and your lock switch. Your little port for your lanyard, if you're into the lanyard wrist strap. So we'll go back here and we will, uh, yeah, I'm going to personalize my phone. I'll see what this is all about. So that's nice, nice little tutorial to help you set up. Uh, I want to ring and vibrate. And I would like to use belly dance, obviously. Oh yeah, no, clearly, that's the one. I don't even need to. Uh, vibrate level for touchscreen haptic feedback. So four, three, four, five. I don't know, man, they all feel the same to me. Let's go with four. Uh, feedback tone level for touchscreen off. I don't like when my screen beeps. Set feedback tone. Yeah, whatever. Uh, wallpaper. I would like to go with oranges. No, I don't. I want the lizard. Yeah. Uh, menu fonts. The choco cookie. I think we want choco cookie. 
I actually don't, but I just like the name Choco Cookie. That's a great name for a font. It's really not. Uh, dial fonts can be large because I'm old and I need to see them. And the main uh, dual clock. Sure. Setup is not complete. Where's my lizard? Oh, very nice. All right, so here's TouchWiz, and you've got some widgets already in there. Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, Twitter, camera, the uh, cheesecake widget. No, I think that's probably a birthday reminder. Um, let's just see what the Twitter widget does. Not available. On, I'm not in a call. Really? Why do you think I'm in a call? That's very strange. But I was apparently in a call. Uh, so the Twitter widget just goes to the mobile Twitter. It's not a Twitter app. It just goes to the mobile Twitter site. But that's okay. Here's my widescreen. Uh, you know what? Since I'm here, why don't we go to... What I would like to do is I would like to go back. And I would like to enter a URL. I thought I said it not to beep when I press things. Oh, whoops, I hit return. <laughs> phone dough. There is no site at phone dough. Snap that domain up quick, kids. A uh, little D-pad here, which is nice. I like it when the touch screen is combined with a D-pad or a trackball or something like that. It makes it a little easier to get around for things like text editing. Keyboard feels good. Not quite as large, I think, as the impression, but uh, Samsung usually makes pretty solid keyboards. Uh, I got a little confused by the return key and the delete key being right next to each other, but I don't think you'll be confused by it if you actually use the phone for more than six minutes at a time. Here's the phone dog website. So far, so good. It's a resistive touchscreen, not capacitive, but uh, it feels, you know, pretty good. A little bit sticky. I don't know, but um, not sticky, but you know how resistive touchscreens sometimes feel like, uh, yeah, process the script or whatever. Uh, a little gritty or something. I don't, I'm not using the right words, but you know, a little grippy, a little like, like not quite sticky, but there's like a little grip to it at first. But that looks pretty good. The, um, you know, the display, WVGA display looks nice. Uh, there's your zoom functionality. There's me looking sort of very concerned about the iPod launch. Uh, nice to see Steve ba Jobs back on stage. Um, he actually spoke at the beginning of the iPod event today, spoke about you know, how he got a liver transplant and thanked the donor. And, uh, you know, that was kind of nice to see. Um, we get all caught up in, in tech and business and everything in this industry. It's good to see, you know, the human side of people and stuff. There are more important things than gadgets, believe it or not. Anyway, HTML web browser looks good. And uh, Ebdo support loading up pretty quick. And so there you go. And we will go very quickly to the messaging interface and just try out the keyboard. Um, but we will do more on this phone. And when I say we'll do more on a phone, sometimes uh, I don't actually do full re video reviews of all the phones, especially in busy times like now where there are just too many to cover. Uh, but always we try to get either full video or full written review or both in addition to the unboxing videos. So always go to uh, phonedog.com to take a look. If there's a phone you're waiting to see reviewed and you don't see a video review of it, just an unboxing, and you're wondering, like, dude, what's up? How come there's no review? Well, go to phonedog.com, and odds are you will find a review, whether it's from me or from John or Aaron or Adriana. We try to review all the phones we get in if we possibly can. That being said, the quick brown fox did, in fact, Jump over the lazy sheepdog. Keyboard feels good. Kind of chiclet style. It feels nice. One sort of slightly weird thing, not a big deal, but because um, you have a dedicated number row up top, the space bar with the emoticon shortcut is actually in the, uh, in the same row as your bottom row of letter keys. So that might take a little getting used to, but, you know, not too bad. So there you go. Once again, first look at the Rogue. Uh, the Verizon Rogue, sort of like an upgrade to last year's Glide, kind of like the impression on AT&T, kind of goes head-to-head -head with the uh, Envy Touch on Verizon, but first impression, really nice, nice and compact, 
You've got, you know, a lot of functionality for a non-smartphone. You've got HTML, you've got all your widgets and everything, the touch screen, touch whiz, WVGA display, uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which I'm always excited to see, micro SD card slot, full HTML browser, all your messaging support. Hundred bucks on contract, and it also comes in flamingo red, even though we don't have it here. Much more. Like we said, video review, hopefully, if not written review. Either way, phonedog.com will have it for you. Until next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.